Hello, happy Sunday. The Bo and I are heading to Mississauga this morning. One, to go to square one because I wanted to pop into the bay. And two, to go to a barbecue that our friend is having at their new house that they bought in Mississauga. Actually, they used to live in Mississauga before, but now they just, they bought another house, a bigger house in Mississauga. But anyway, I am going to do my makeup um, in the car because as you can see, I don't have anything on except for sunscreen. And uh, yeah, and I want to look a little bit more lively. You look lively already, baby. Okay, we're stuck, not stuck, but we're on the 400, approaching the 401. And as usual, it's a bit congested. So there's that, and then there's, I don't know, I have really bad road rage. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but I do. Example of things that irk me, situations like this where they don't want to wait in line in this really congested obviously two lanes to get to the 401 so instead they block these lanes to squeeze into this already congested lane there's another example of people blocking traffic just to squeeze in to an already congested lane we are at square one now it's been so long since i've been to this mall but uh I'm gonna check out the new Simons. I haven't been here yet. We are leaving square one now. I didn't pick up a lot of things. I got a couple more things at Muji. Um, one was a golf shirt because on Tuesday I have this work function and we have to wear a collared shirt. But we're, we have, we're gonna be working outside and all the collared shirts I have are dress shirts and they're not appropriate to be outside in. So I just got this plain, um, golf shirt from Muji. Good morning. So today is a not my typical work day because we're having a big work function today. So I have to work um, the actual function. So I get to wear shorts today. It's basically where I'm going with this. I'll show you my outfit for today. So this is the golf shirt that I got from Muji. I really like it. I would buy more. They were on sale though. So I'm not sure if they're on clearance. It was $39 and it was on sale for 30% off. And I like it. I got the gray just because I love the gray. But they did have white and a navy. I'm wearing these pink shorts that I got from Old Navy. For shoes, I just have my Sperry's on. I also am wearing layers and layers upon sunscreen. And I also have two sunscreens with me because I'm going to be outside and it's warm. Hello, I am heading home now. I had a pretty busy day today. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, let me turn this down real quick. Like I mentioned earlier, I we have a huge function, a work function every single year. It is kind of like a an appreciation day for for staff. So we have like a big big tent and there's catered food and uh, we hire entertainment and there's games. So I have to participate in running or overseeing the event. Um, mainly I, I usually work the doors or sometimes I, I oversee a game. But uh, yeah, so I'll insert some snaps of my day. So maybe some food shots and perhaps a shot of us on a, a ride that we had this year. So the Bo and I went on this ride and it was so it was a lot of fun, but it also made me a little bit nauseous. And um, the boat was kind of crushing me because it was one of those spinning rides. But yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> so I'm done now. It's hot, very warm, and I am so sweaty and gross. I'm looking forward to going home taking a shower. I'm expecting a few things in the mail and I think a couple of things arrived today. So hopefully they did. I'm very excited to check. Sorry for the crazy hat hair that's going on here, but we're home now and some parcels arrived for me. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Some of them are clothing items. First thing I'm going to show you guys are some stickers that I picked up from Planning Roses. Someone told me about this planner shop and it is a Canadian shop and you guys know how much I love supporting Canadian brands or Etsy shops. So I will link the seller below so you can check them out. Um, but her stickers come in this really nice cardboard mailer. I got, I don't remember how many sheets I got, but um, I got at least three or four 
probably four or five. I didn't get any of like the weekly spreads or the monthly spreads. I just got a bunch of little um, icon stickers. Is that what you call these icon stickers? I think this one is a cute little freebie, which I think is super cute. So I'll show you guys the different um, stickers that I got. They're very cute. I like them actually. They range from three to four dollars. Totally affordable. First one is mini nail polish stickers for when I change my nail polish up. Second one laundry stickers so hamper and also a laundry machine i really like this one because i like to track when i fill up my vehicle so this is a bunch of vintage um gas pumps then there is this day off banner which i like because i do like to denote days where i just I don't have to go to work. Not necessarily holidays, but sometimes I'll just book the day off randomly, so that's cute. Then I got these two. These are the last two I got. They're just kind of little bubbles and teardrops uh, that I can jot notes on. So I'm very excited for these. So that's parcel number one. Parcel number two, I believe, is from the Bay. And I don't know if this is both of the items that I picked up. I bought two items from the bay, thebay.com. Um, however, both of the items shipped from the store, which means that times can vary on when they will actually get to you. So I'm not sure if this is my full order, if it's half a order. Let's see here. I think it's my full order. It only came in one box, so maybe they just put the other item in here. Oh, they did. So I got, it's the Beau's birthday tomorrow. So, is he here? Jonathan? I don't think he's here. So I got him a pair of sunglasses. These are from the brand Polaroid. And the reason I got, okay, the Beau is so hard to shop for because he's such a, a practical and non-material person in the sense that he doesn't have to have like 15 of everything. Also, if you want something, he'll just go out and get it. He doesn't um, hem and haw about anything. He does his research and then he goes out and buys it. So it was really difficult to find something for him. <laughs> um, but I got him these sunglasses because um, since we have two cars, like between us, we each have a car. Whenever we drive the other person's car, I mean, obviously you like to keep a certain number of things in your car, like sunglasses and your keys or maybe your work badge. So it's kind of a hassle sometimes to switch cars because you have to like remember to grab all of those things from your car and move it into the other person's car. So for the bow, that one item that he always likes to have in the car with him are sunglasses. So in occasions where we have taken my car over his car, um, he hasn't had sunglasses. So I wanted to get him a pair of sunglasses that he just leave in my car all the time so he always has it if he's gonna take my car to do errands or if we're gonna switch cars for the day. So I got him these ones which are from Polaroid. I just thought they were really nice. The bow is really, um, he likes just a simple frame and so he doesn't like the aviators or or the Wayfarers, like from Ray-Ban. So this is kind of a, I would say it's a hybrid between both. It's kind of like an aviator, but it's kind of also like a Wayfarer. Anyway, so I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna clean these up because it looks like it has like a bunch of fingerprints on it um, before I give it to the bow, but it's birthday tomorrow, so that's exciting. The other thing I got is for myself, and they are these sandals. So they're from the brand Dolce Vita. So the Beau and I decided that we are going to go to Greece in the fall for our honeymoon. So I've already started kind of buying things for our trip, like outfits and shoes. So this is one of them. I needed a new pair of just plain leather sandals anyway, so I got these ones. I really hate sandals that have the toe, like the Sam Edelman's. I used to be obsessed with those. I don't know why, because I never really enjoyed wearing them. But they were, you, you'll know the ones. I'll insert a photo here and you'll know exactly which pair I'm talking about. Um, I just prefer slip-on sandals, so I picked these up. They were on sale. I think they were like $35, and they're supposed to be leather, which is exciting. Let's see, and they're regularly priced $90, so $30, $35 for this I think is a good deal. Okay, the last thing that I picked up is 
from YesStyle. It has been so long since I placed an order on YesStyle, but if you don't know what YesStyle is, it is essentially um, a shop where you can buy lots of different Asian style clothes, accessories, um, makeup, beauty products, and um, it ships to Canada. You can find a lot of really cool and interesting stuff on there. Some of it is hit or miss, especially for sizing because it's an Asian sizing. I'm typically a small, sometimes an extra small depending on what the brand is, but in on Yes Style, I'm either a medium or sometimes a large. So you really have to read the measurements for each size because you can't even just say that you're a small across the board on Yes Style. Um, it can really vary depending on the style of the item. There's also a lot of items that are one size only, so you really have to read up the measurements just to make sure that one size actually fits you. So I picked up four things now that I'm looking at it. I actually don't remember what I picked up entirely because I placed the order quite a while ago. Um, but I'm seeing that I got two pencil skirts and I just thought these pencil skirts looked cool because they looked a bit textured. So um, this is the black one. I got a black one and a white one. So I just liked the look of them on the website. This is the white one. Ooh, it's a bit see-through. I was hoping it would be a little bit thicker, but it's definitely very see-through. I don't know if I'll be able to wear this to work now that I'm seeing it in person. So, so far skirts are a bit underwhelming. I do like the black one, but the white one is, I thought it would be thicker, it's not. Um, the other two are tops, I guess. So, this is not what I ordered. I don't know what this is, but this is definitely not what I ordered. It has giraffes on it. I definitely didn't order this. Look how weird this is. Okay, this is awkward. Um, yeah, I definitely did not order that. Okay, gonna have to email them about that. That's awkward. The other one is, I believe, what I ordered. That's really annoying because I've never had to return anything on YesSale, but I can't imagine that it's easy. So this is with a black camisole. Wow, really see-through also. But I do like this style of it. It's just like a simple black camisole that I can wear underneath things. <sighs> okay, so far very underwhelmed with my Yes Style purchase and I don't know if I'll be making a purchase anytime soon just because this has been kind of a disappointment and these four items, it was really inexpensive. It was 40, no, 50 bucks for everything but I mean, 50 bucks for clothes you're not gonna wear is uh, a waste of money. Hi, I am heading home now, and I am first going to stop by a bakery to get the bow a red velvet cupcake. Uh, because he really loves that cream cheese frosting. We had it for our wedding cake, and he's just, he was amazed that they put cream cheese on cake. So I'm gonna get him one. And um, I'm also gonna stop by to see my mom, because she has a birthday card that she wanted me to give to the bow. Okay, success. I got the red velvet cupcake for the bow. So this is it here. I need to put it somewhere cool so the icing doesn't melt really warm today. I also got, I only asked for half a dozen, but she had already put them in the box, so I didn't want her to put them back. So I ended up getting a dozen of the salted caramel, I think they're called shortbread cookies, but these are so good. I'm gonna give some to my mom. Quick update, I'm still not home. I'm actually gonna pop into the dollar store to get the Bo a birthday balloon. Okay, I got the balloon. It is literally floating around back there. And now I'm gonna go home before my red velvet cupcake melts. Hello, we're back at the standing desk. I am home now, the Bo loved his balloon surprise and also hey put your cupcake in the fridge so it doesn't melt before oh, dinner um, but anyway uh we are going to do a little unboxing of another parcel i received today this is from amazon okay so in my last vlog if you watched it you'll know that i picked up a silhouette cameo from michael's and i realized as i was using that product that i really didn't need the silhouette cameo one the cut size is um, bigger than what I 
picked up, which is the silhouette portrait. Um, but I really will never be cutting anything larger than an eight and a half by 11 sheet. And also there was some features on the cameo, which I would never ever take advantage of. So I figured I might as well just go down a level and save some money because it does basically the same thing. So like I said, I picked up the silhouette portrait from Amazon. It was much cheaper on Amazon than any of the other websites that I was checking out. And it is obviously cheaper than the Silhouette Cameo. So for price reference, the Silhouette Cameo at Michael's, I'm having a beast of a time getting this box open by the way. So I'm concentrating really hard. The Silhouette Cameo from Michael's is $269.99 plus tax. So it came to, I think about 300 just over $300. The Silhouette Portrait from Amazon was $215 plus tax, so it came to about $245. However, the portrait from Amazon um, came with a bunch of accessories, so extras. So it's a, quite a good deal. See, there's bound to be some mishaps when you're precariously perched. You're actually perched on an upside down ring box. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So these are just where we keep a whole bunch of headphones and cords. And this is a ring box and I just had you guys perched on top. Uh, pretty fast shipping from Amazon. So this is what the Silhouette Portrait looks like. It is a bundle kit. So this is actually, I believe, the, um, like the scrapbooking bundle kit, which I don't scrapbook, but I guess planning is kind of like scrapbooking. Um, here is like all of the paperwork and the cutting mat. The cutting mat is actually super duper necessary when you're cutting things because it allows the, the sheet to stick onto it so it doesn't go anywhere and it cuts perfectly. Um, there's the cords in here, the disc, which I can't even use because my laptop doesn't have uh, a disc slot anymore. Um, this is the blade here. The blade is also necessary in order to cut things. Okay, here is one of the accessories. So this is a desk cover. So just, I guess it's not a carrying case. It's more of a cover to put on top of it so it doesn't get dusty. It also comes with a silhouette spatula. Not quite sure. Oh, it's to help lift paper cutouts off of your silhouette cutting mat. That's cool. I think there's one more freebie. It is a scraper. So this is to, oh, apply adhesive vinyl to walls and other smooth surfaces. I also really like this cutting machine because it is much more compact than the Cameo. It's smaller, it will fit a lot nicer on my desk, but this is at least two times smaller than the Silhouette Cameo. And it does 75% of the same things. Okay, I gotta go because the bow's probably getting a little hangry because I told him I had to unbox this before we went for his birthday dinner. Good morning and happy Friday. I took the day off today. The bow did actually, that's why he's right here. But uh, we're gonna have an extra long weekend because it's the civic holiday weekend this weekend. So we have four days off. Today, I'm starting my day very late. It is, oh, 1.30. <laughs> and um, I was, I had big plans of doing lots of stuff today. I even made a to-do list on my phone. And so far I only did one of those things. And the rest of the morning I spent watching episodes of The Family Guy and making stickers. So I am going to, get some stuff off my to-do list done. First things first is I'm gonna return my YesStyle parcel and I'm also going to mail our application for a marriage certificate because apparently you can only apply for a certificate once you've um, been married for 10 weeks. And I'm going to return my YesStyle parcel. So I'm going to return both of the skirts that I got and also the top that was incorrectly sent to me. Um, because that's annoying. And the unfortunate part is I have to pay for my own return. So we're at Rona right now. Um, the bow is doing some errands. We just came from Hitch City and cause we want to put a bike rack on the back on a hitch. And we also want to get um, something for the roof. So a roof rack, well something to go on the rails that are already on the car so we can put kayaks up there. Um, it's really expensive. If you guys have ever gotten hitches or roof racks or bike racks, 
that's crazy it's very expensive and it's so funny because I was just thinking about all the get outside campaigns and how everyone's promoting to go canoeing go kayaking go biking go outside and do fun things but seriously who could afford to do all of those things it's so expensive just for the um, the hitch alone like 200 almost 300 dollars for the the hitch and then a um, hundred and something dollars for the um, the actual installation so it's under five hundred dollars for the hitch alone and then you have to buy the bike rack which is probably two to six hundred dollars depending on what you get maybe even more than that and then also the roof rack which is another like $300 so it's pretty pricey <laughs> this is the catalog that we picked up um, so tool I believe is the brand that we're likely going to buy from but if anyone has recommendations for um, like a good bike rack or a roof rack please let me know because I'm, I'm interested while I'm waiting for the bow I'm actually going to um, change the battery on his key fob because it's a little bit unresponsive and in I had to remember where I put it but in the uh, where all of my owner's manual stuff is the dealership actually gave us some extra batteries to replace the batteries in these ones so that's always a good thing because who knows whenever you're gonna run out of a battery for a key fob and it's nice that it's actually in the car so you never really forget it So while he does that, I'm gonna go mail my returns. I just finished mailing off my Yes Style return and it cost $10.20 to mail that back, which I'm not gonna get back because obviously returns are at um, the buyer's own cost. And also I just realized that Yes Style is only gonna give me back essentially store credit. So I just have to spend the money that I will be getting back back at Yes Style and I was really unhappy with my purchases so I don't know if I would buy clothes again or maybe if I do I'll do a little bit more research on the material and that kind of stuff because I was really um, not very pleased with the items that I did get but I have purchased from Yes Style before and um, I purchased outerwear like a few years ago and I really liked it so it's just kind of hit and miss. We are at Canadian Tire now because I wanted to look at stuff, but we came from the mall and I went to Sephora and I did not buy anything. That's two times now that I've been in a Sephora and left with nothing. What's wrong with you? I know, right? And I even have a gift card to Sephora, so it's not like I don't have free money to spend. But yeah, I didn't find anything I liked. I was looking at the um, Becca, Becca Jaclyn Hill split pans and I already have the palette, so I didn't really need the split pans, but they are pretty. While I was at the bay though, I did pick up these new sunglasses. Oh, my hair is caught in it. I like them, they're from the brand Polaroid. I bought the bow, a pair of sunglasses from Polaroid, as you guys know, because I unboxed it. And um, I saw these ones and they were on sale. Actually, they were on clearance and then I got an additional 15% off, so I couldn't say no. And I really like them. Happy Saturday, continuing the long weekend today with, what am I doing today? Oh, I'm going to Toronto with my mom, so I'm going downtown. It is actually my mom's birthday on Monday, and uh, yeah, so I told her I would take her to do whatever she wanted, and she wanted to go downtown and hang out, so that's what we're gonna do. The Bo and I also got her um, tickets to the Ripley's Aquarium because she actually hasn't gone yet. The Bo and I went probably the same month that it opened, so what is that, like two years ago now? But my mom has never gone, so um, I don't know if she'll, she's gonna wanna go today, but we just got any time tickets for whenever she wants to go. This is probably where I'm going to end today's vlog.
vlog. I'm at Forever 21. I haven't vlogged all, at all pretty much today. So I'm just gonna call it a weekly vlog. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.